Welcome back to TechPress. Into this new video, I'm going to show you how to dive into the Monday.com and explore how you can use this dashboard to streamline a private management. So this argues a few examples and showcase some real world examples on effective dashboard and how they can help you stay organized on the top of your projects. So to get started, you have a link to down below in the description and you might be having a huge great credits to get started to early free. Now Monday is early free, but with the link down below, you have a few great huge deals uh, to have a pro version of the Monday. Now, the Monday, if you don't know what exactly it is, this is the bursatic project management tool that allows you to create a customizable dashboard to track and manage projects effectively. So, speaking about this great, great, great application, I can tell you that this intuitive interface and powerful features you can build a dashboard tailored to your specific needs. So, let's just um, scroll and select what we're actually focusing on, which is the product management. I'm gonna go for product management once again, go for continuum and select the elements that fits for your needs. So take your time to fill as much information as you can. It can help you to give you the templates and the features that the tools that can help you grow uh, directly into Monday.com. Now, the first example that I have here is a task management dashboard. Now, this dashboard helps you create tag tasks, deadlines, and team assignments. This is how you can set this up. So for example, directly you have the tasks list, a board displaying all the tasks with their current status. We have the working on it, here's the waiting for review, the approved, done, and this is status in, in gray if you want to add something more. The designer usually should be ourselves, but if you want to just to focus it with and leave this as it is into OK, then just leave it as it is. Now, if you want to add a timeline view, you can visualize how it actually looks the timeline. So you can check out the product milestones, you can check out the timeline deadlines, and everything directly organized into the timeline. There's the Kanban view, so move the task through different stages of completion. This is my favorite because what you can do is just to drag and drop elements that were approved, done, waiting for the review. Once you've finished everything, you can just organize them directly into different segments, which I think is going to be really awesome. And lastly, you have the team assignment or the team workload. We can see which team members are assigned to the which tasks. So this setup allows you to quickly see the status of all the tasks, identify bottlenecks and ensure everyone knows their responsibilities. Everything appears into asset cards or into the main table. The main table can be helping you to check out everything from scratch, what we need to do this week, next week, and what is actually done. You can add different new groups and organize them as you're getting started. The date actually appears here. The best solution for uh, us in the product management, what I can tell just do is to use colors where you can identify the priority, the dates, and the status. The next one, we have a project overview dashboard. This dashboard gives you a high-level view of your projects, including the progress, the budget, and the timelines. So you can have a progress bar into the initiatives here. I'm going to click here, and as you can see, you have two different sprint planning and the main table, the current quarter, and you can add much more tables. I'm going to add a Gantt, for example, to check out how it actually looks, my information and my deadlines. Now, the milestones can be helping you to highlight key project milestones and their statuses. When you click into one element, you can check out everything about the product, opportunity, priority, domain, scope defined, timeline, agile, the mirror, and the progress tracker. This one can be really, really helpful if you want to get started with a specific content inside one task working on it. And you can see the milestone. The milestone is one of the best solutions that you can check out. So, I'm going to close this. And lastly, you have the Gantt. Now, the Gantt, um, as I just told you, this specialized product timeline and dependencies. So, for those who are focusing into sales, the sales pipeline dashboard is invaluable. It's designed to track leads, deals, and sale performance. And here's what's included. For example, there is a deal tracker where you can check out the deal linked deal value, all you closed, and you can check out for the Kanban view. The Kanban view, as I just told you, can help you with the sale metrics, so you can track key metrics such as the conversion rates and the total sales. And lastly, here's the activity fee, so you can check out the sales dashboard section, see recent activities and updates related to your sales. 
So this can be helping for people who are once again more into sales. This dashboard helps sales team manage their pipeline effectively per hour leads and measure performance. There are more examples to come over, but I can tell you that one of the great solutions for us is the design weekly task. Everything is great, organized, everything looks great into the main table, and the best solution is that we have integrations to add it into our um, template. For example, there is a Slack, we can use uh, MailChimp, there is Google Drive, there is the Gmail, there is the Facebook ads even, Zara and much more elements. So people who want to get started again, having much more than just ourselves, focusing on adding more people into my team members to inside this automation center. After the Monday, this one is the best solution for all of you guys. So with that being said, you can now reach to the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of how we can get started here into the Monday work management. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And well, with that being said, we can see you next time.